Hello gamers and welcome to the sixth episode of League of Leviathan. Don't go through that wall. Do the not. Advice, <laughs> the advice that was repeated constantly. Unfortunately, our, our, the, our enemies couldn't hear you screaming it, but they should have listened. <laughs> <laughs> they really should have. I, I can't wait to go through this. It was one of our better games, I think. It was awesome. Yeah, let's get right into it. So, here we've got me playing Corky, and um, I was giving him a try this week. You know, I played a couple games with him beforehand, and I get the first blood on Blitzcrank. Feels great. And uh, he just came right in, and he, Corky has significant bursts. You gotta watch out for him. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it. He's kind of underplayed now since, you know, all the more popular carries are coming out of the woodwork, but uh, I, was, I was pretty impressed with what I, I had experienced with Corky over the course of this game, and his first blood it's kind of a setup for everything else that happened in the game. You know, Joey, Karthus can just put that wall down and you never <laughs> go back through that wall. Uh, Vi, I mean, Vi was the first victim, you know. Maybe they, you'd hope they learned after this, but no, they did The other best asset of having a Karthus on your team is Requiem. Scion died at top. And the, the wonderful thing about being on Skype is, you know, you can just say, hey, press R, use Requiem, instead of having to type it out. And you did. And it was the first of many Requiem kills for you. But the one thing that's not good about Karthus is that without, well, without Flash, you're not going to get away from a lot of things. And right here, I was trying to be way too fancy to dodge Blitzcrank's pull, and I got killed for it. Yeah, I mean, there was only so much you can do. Flash was down. They wanted you dead. So, here I am on bot lane with low health and an enemy Lux. What happens? Whoa! <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> Pretty much out of nowhere. She snipes me. Um, I mean, Lux players love to snipe. I mean, pr pretty much Lux loves to snipe is what she does. And, and she goes for the cleanup kill on our Thresh. And she gets she does. it. She does. But what a, but. what a great play by Thresh right there. Three turret shots and then minion. Yeah, minion to death. It's, it's the best way to get revenge. Lux was harassing me pretty hard, of course. I'm decent at dodging most of her stuff, and she just kept on jumping on the lay wastes. But, good lord, thank... <laughs> The lanterns. <laughs> really, I, I was screaming, you know, take the lantern, take the lantern. And fortunately, you listened. You dodged it by what had to be inches. So, following that epic lantern dodge, I figured, let's take us a dragon. Let's get ahead in gold. Unfortunately, the enemy team was there to follow up on us, and our vibe died to a combination of Ezreal and dragon fire. It, you and I just barely escaped by the skin of the teeth. Well, I escaped. <laughs> unfortunately for you. Lux. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> so lucky down sight, here. Uh, I just Wipes I, you off the map just like she yeah, did to me I just I caught an unlucky break, and it just, hey, things like that happen. So, Lux is coming down to gank, you know, usual business. I decide I'm having none of that. Wow. So shut her down. Corky's burst is amazing. <laughs> it's incredible, yeah, and you're just throwing out those missiles like, well, it is your job. Man, it, again, they just don't understand the burst potential that Corky has. So, you're pushing mid lane, you know, doing what Karthus does, and you, d Vi comes in for a gank, and she goes through your wall, again. Yeah, going through the wall like you're not supposed to, but all, you, all I had to do was just put Defile on, and people don't understand lay waste this triple damage to people who are alone. You get hit yeah. by it. She had no chance there. So, in my haste, I wanted to go bottom lane to get where Lux and Blitzcrank were, but I didn't watch the map close enough, and Thresh and you were still too far away. So I jumped the gun, and I died. Yeah, I mean it's unfortunate we were we were coming in we were coming to help you. We really were. We we just didn't get there quite in time, and they they got you. They got you good. So one of the unique things about Corky is every third time you use his ultimate, it does additional damage, as you just saw on Ezreal, and. You know, I figure I'm just gonna take the tower, and he comes back. So, being a little cocky, <laughs> I decide I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your life. You know, you came back, I'm gonna take your life. I died to a tower shot, but Lux would have killed me anyway. She was lining up her laser. I'm glad Ezreal got the kill because I really don't like Lux. I love having Cyan on a team because of his utility and, of course, his damage. So while he's sitting there, just gaining back all of his health from his ultimate, he just tells me, "Oh, Requiem." And I take out everyone that's trying to run away. <laughs> yeah, there are no escapes when there's a Karthus on your team. So after missing her initiation, 
I wanted to really push this tower, and I knew that I could probably kill both of them if they stayed. But, you know, Vi made the smart move, and she left. So I just decided, all right, well, I'm just going to have to take Jace with me. <laughs> yeah, you know, Carter stays alive for a couple seconds, and Jace got you, but you, you, you got the revenge. So another team fight breaks out. You come down from top lane. Everybody's trading damage all well and good. Um, Lux shoots her laser directly into everybody. Freaks me right the heck out. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, and I, I'm I dead. I, I am dead, but everyone's on <laughs> top of Defile, and then there it is. Quadra kill after death. And I have a freaking Soul Stealer, which people, for some reason, don't get on Karthus, but they don't understand when you're dead, you use Requiem, you get those assists, you get those kills, it stays with you when you come back. We were really pushing these guys, and it was about time that we just decided, even though it's a bad idea, let's engage underneath the tower, even though you never should ever do that. <laughs> yeah, um, Vi pops her ult on me, knock, locks me down, Lux follows up immediately, snipes me out of existence, I'm done. And then here comes our Magi stacked superhero Karthus with an amazing wall. Again, they, they haven't learned. And you you and Scion just cleaning the team fight. <laughs> yeah, that that Ezreal really wanted to get away from this, and I just decided, you know what, forget it. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to get pulled by Blitzcrank at first, but he had just used it, so it just ended up making it so much sweeter. So, here we catch Ezreal doing blue buff. We figure, let's take blue buff from him. His whole team's there to make sure they get that blue buff. <laughs> and they got it. And they killed most of us while still getting that blue buff. Yeah, I was still hurt from the previous team fight, and I had gone back to base. There was just nothing that we could do here, but Scion pops his ultimate, and he's just staying there. Just staying alive, just attacking dudes. But four on one? Oh, that was yeah. not a good flash. Not at all. He he probably could have gotten away, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what happened. I see Lux alone, and she's within wall range, and you never walk through <laughs> the wall. And two oh. shot, done. Oh my gosh, two lay waste. And yes, it does triple damage, but good grief. They haven't learned yet. You don't walk through the wall. It reduces your armor, your magic resist, it's one of the strongest slows in the game. And Lux got two shots simply because she hasn't learned her lesson yet. <clears throat> and there you have it, folks. Uh, episode six is complete. Great synergy. We had a lot of fun. You know, Karthus did great work with the wall. I had great times with Corky. And it was overall just a good game for us. Yeah, communication was really key in this title. I, I mean, <laughs> with the way that we went about it, don't walk through the wall. That's pretty much the epitome of how it goes when we when we go through these episodes. Yeah. Well, like you said, end of episode six. We always learn something when we play games like this. And just if you guys have more questions, if you want to give us a little bit of insight, heck, if you want to even join us, just check out our Twitch page, jump on Leviathan.com. Who knows? We're always messing around on League. And every time is more of a learning experience. Definitely. Hope to see you guys there.